Joe Cool says. Hey, Joe Cool. Uh, how do I go about removing files that are not needed in the file system? My four gig SSD solid state drive. Thank you for defining that. <laughs> uh, 512 megabytes RAM. I use it to browse the web. Everything works fine, and I am at 93.8 percent <laughs> capacity of the 1.5 megabytes. In other words, my total file system cap capacity 1.6 gig. Uh, used 1.5 gig available. 104.6 megabytes. All that to say, he's got this super fast solid state drive. Yep. But it's itty bitty. Oh, okay. Teeny weeny. So he needs more. Well, he just Thanks. doesn't have enough. So, but. What, what you're mentioning there, Joe Cool, is that you use this thing specifically for web surfing uh, and doing web-based things. So first thing I would look at is, is the operating system that you're running necessarily the best operating system for you? Because it sounds to me like you're using a bit too much space for just surfing the web, because all you really need is you know, access to your, your networking hardware and being able to uh, use Firefox, for example. Pardon me. But if you're using Ubuntu, what I would recommend is probably removing some of those unneeded packages. Like if you go through your menu here, we've got things like you know your GIMP uh, image editor, OpenOffice is another one, like Writer and things like that. Your your spreadsheets and sound and video applications, just all these different applications that you probably don't need. Games which don't take up a lot of space out of the box because they're just pretty small games. But because you only have four gigs, you want to get rid of anything that you're not really needing. So I would recommend, uh, if you're not going to install a different operating system, something that's a little more lightweight, uh, go into System Administration Synaptic Package Manager and just go through all the uh, installed applications here and just kind of find out what is uh, actually necessary. Be very, very careful. I'll just warn you, like, don't remove things that you don't know what they are. Uh, but if you're going through and you see something like OpenOffice, you can, you can safely remove that. The ones that are checked off are installed on your system. So if I scroll through this list, there's one that's installed. Now, I'm not going to remove that because, you know, I don't necessarily know what that is. There's all these different things like ACPI, and it, don't touch them because you, you, you may not be sure what they are, and certainly you don't want to remove ACPI. Uh, so moving through, like, just find things that you don't really need, like open office. Because in your case, you're just using this for the web. You don't need an office suite. You don't need a uh, GNU image manipulation program. Uh, so get those things off. That's probably going to free up a good amount of space. Other than that, I mean, we can look at stuff like clearing out your temporary files and things, but that's probably not what's taking up the space. I would think, you know, it's a fairly small drive, so you want to definitely uh, just get rid of some of the apps that you're not really using. All right, but look at, uh, look at a more lightweight... Uh, you know, like there's different Linux distributions out there that are available that uh, are specifically for web surfing only, maybe like a kiosk version or something, but it depends on what, what platform you're using, and there's not a lot of information in the email, but give that a try. Let us know. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks for your question.